young people are forever telling their story. Joy follows like a shadow that never leaves. In this day and age, especially Snapchat, you know, uh, all of the social media tools, they are telling stories visually through pictures, Instagram, etc. What you plant, you will harvest later. Really, this is no different to that. We are like, we're kind of reviving the tradition of storytelling. An injury does not define your future. I really did not know what to expect from the True Story Project. Scars make you the person you are today. The kids were quite nervous on the coach. They were passing their scripts down to us to get us to read them. Patience really is a virtue. When they saw the other school, they, they were like, oh, do we have to work with them? They look posh, look at their uniform. Working with people they don't know, meeting other schools, is quite unusual and it's very brave. You can see how they've built relationships up with the other students from the other school. It's handled really well because the kids have just all coped with it and, and behaved impeccably. One student actually said he had never felt so inspired and from that moment then I knew that this project would be a success. Just, yeah, very exciting, very different. I think what I particularly liked was, was bringing um, the, the participants into, into a different space, an exciting space. We know that school settings can be quite rigid and quite formal, so bringing young people into that setting and, and taking them out of the, the conventional learning kind of sphere and bringing them into creative and a facilitation mode has been a really interesting journey for us. I think the fact that you can bring all of these things together. Youth work, creativity. Drama um, and English. Youth facilitation, the arts. Really, I, I don't think that, that that happens enough, where we joining of the dots, where all of our worlds overlap. We had a dance teacher with us today who's looking at creative arts and she's had loads of great ideas that she wants to use in her area as well. Bringing all these elements together in a kind of coherent way that can be tangibly kind of beneficial to people in a very real sense, that for me, just seeing that come into fruition is, is really, really exciting. And something that we will take back to school and use in school in the future. We know that the activities we use are uh, really accessible, uh, they're universal, people of all ages and all backgrounds can use them. I never thought I would be on stage. I believe something such as True Stories allows these young people to have a voice at the most crucial of times and we're providing them with a toolkit essentially to be able to express themselves um, in a meaningful way. I think the emotion that was shared was, was um, really profound. Some of the stuff they were coming out with, it was obviously stuff that perhaps they hadn't shared before. I'm kind of like the person that sits in the corner of the room and doesn't really talk to people, so I generally shock to myself. To actually see students come up on stage, read out their stories, was a fabulous experience. It makes a real big difference in these kids and it's wonderful to see them sort of come with some apprehensions and some fears, confidence issues perhaps, and then overcome them gave me an insight of what I can do as a person and how confident I can be in front of loads of people. I had one child come to me afterwards and say I did it. I said, yeah, at the start I didn't want to do it, but now I did it. I think that the opportunity that everyone's had today was amazing. It allowed people to share and listen to other people's stories and it was a powerful journey that everyone deserves to experience. It's evident in the feedback from staff, from the students themselves, that these type of opportunities tragically aren't commonplace in society. The human engagement, uh, where it's not speaking, looking into a screen, where it's people just kind of feeding off each other's energy as well. We really need to do a lot more of this work where we allow people to connect with each other as human beings. The, the old traditional way of sitting around in a circle respecting one another by lending their ear to hear people's stories, hear their experiences to reflect on. This is the beauty of true stories.